What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Masters EX video. My name is Charlie and today we're going to check out the uh, Sync Grid, uh, Team Builds, Lucky Skill, anything and everything you want to know about Lissandri and Evidal. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Uh, it is of course flying type, uh, with uh, it can be a, a dark type striker, so keep that in mind as well. It's weak to fairy, it's a special striker. And uh, here are the stats, it's got HP of 739, so pretty good uh, HP, special attack of 360. You know, it's right middle of the road. I mean, it's on, it's good, it's good, it'll, it'll get the job done. Uh, the defenses are, like, really bad, uh, but again, it's a special striker, it's a striker unit, it's not supposed to take hits, uh, so you want to have a good support and uh, defense boosting uh, units like Xerneas. <laughs> um, yeah, his speed is okay, his speed's decent, So, it, but it, again, if you have Xerneas, it's going to get that plus six to speed, so it'll help out quite a bit. Uh, for its moveset, you have Oblivion Wing. 100% uh, accuracy against a single opponent, 146 to 175 damage depending on how powered up it is, restores the user's HP based on the amount of damage dealt to the target. Each use restores up to half the user's maximum HP. And it's a 4 gauge move, that's really good. Um, doing that much damage and healing yourself. Bonkers, bonkers move, I love it. Uh, really, really good. If you, um, if you have Blue and Pidgeot maxed out, uh, then Lissandri may not seem like the type of guy to do, but with a move like Oblivion Wing, he makes, he's very dangerous in Battle Villa. Uh, and, uh, against, like, Legendaries and stuff like that, so. Very good, he's a, he's a useful alternative to Blue. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, X special attack increases the special attack. Uh, Dark Pulse has a small chance of making the target flinch. 100% accuracy, 95 to 114 power, depending on how powered up it is, and it's a 3 gauge move. Uh, so this is like why he's a good Dark type striker as well. Um, he can make it, he, he, we'll get into it with his passive skills and his sync move, or sync grid, but he can be used as a very good dark type striker as well. Which is probably what the majority of people are going to use him as if they already have blue, because blue does have more special attack uh, than Lissandri does. So it's we're, get, we're finally getting to the point where we have really good units that can like kind of outpace each other in certain ways, so it's, it's good to have that kind of diversity. And end of the world, the trainer move charges the user's move gauge by two, reduces the user's move uh, sync move countdown by one, sharply raises the user's critical hit rate, but lowers his defense and special defense. Uh, this is like a better version of uh, like Red and Charizard's trainer move. Uh, in that it does the same thing where it lowers their defenses, increases their critical hit rate, and charges their move gauge, but also... Uh, this one reduces their sync move countdown, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it's really good. Uh, especially useful for sync nuke builds. Uh, speaking of sync moves, we have Cleansing Oblivion Wing. 250 to 300 power, depending on how powered up it is. And no additional effects, because it is already pretty pretty good. Now, the passive skills. This is where Evidol becomes even more broken and, like, crazy. Uh, it's got Recuperation 1. Restores the user's HP after using a sync move, so that's really good. Uh, healthy healing makes the user uh, gradually heal itself when its HP is full when it enters a battle. Really good. <laughs> and Dark Power 5, this is adds to the fact uh, that Evidol can be a really good Dark type striker. Even though they made it a flying type, this really helps with it being a Dark type striker because it powers up the user's Dark type moves. Uh, and 5 meaning 50%, I believe. So, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good boost. Um, now, as far as like a lucky skill goes, uh, Critical Strike 2 would be the one to put on this one. Uh, because he does increase his critical hit rate, and he's a striker. So, that's what you want to do in order to deal out the most amount of damage. Uh, as far as team builds go, 
Xerneas is great um, because it increases his speed, his, spe his special attack, and his special defense when Xerneas uses a sync move, and then you can focus on Evidol getting sync moves uh, and, and being a sync nuke. Um, but that's really it, 3 out of 5. Uh, Gosh, what are what are some other good supports? I mean, the usual supports, uh, 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 Skyla and Swana for healing, even though he is a healer, uh, so you may not need that, but depending on, on the the build you're doing with Evidol, uh, maybe having a healer on would be a good thing. Um, but you need a really strong tank. Um, SS Blue, of course, is the, probably one of the better ones for him. Um, and you could use, uh, Torchic for, like, uh, uh, increasing his critical hit rate and special attack at once. That's very useful as well. I'm trying to think. They're, they're, I mean, the usual, like, supports where you're boosting special attack, you're boosting speed, you're boosting defenses, um, your usual tanks that can really absorb some damage for... Uh, Evidol, so Evidol can stay in the game that much longer, even though he does deal damage and heal at the same time. He's really good, guys. He's really good. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get into the uh, Sync Grids. At first, we have the 1 out of 5 Sync Grid. This is a Oblivion Wing build. In the upper right-hand corner, we have Oblivion Wing, Move Gauge, Refresh 3. Uh, we have all the Oblivion Wing uh, power-ups that we can get. X Special Attack. MP Refresh, the End of the World MP Refresh, and the Dark Pulse MP Refresh, uh, Move Gauge Refresh, actually. And we have all three of the Special Attack plus five, so we're increasing our Special Attack damage as much as we can uh, with this limited Sync Grid. Uh, and we do have Unflappable, which prevents uh, Evidol from flinching. Now, if you didn't want um, End of the World or... X special attack MP refreshes, then we could probably just go ahead and max out these, but that leaves you with five. So if we take away unflappable, we could at least get. I don't know, let's keep unflappable because that really does help out. Mmm. Yeah, we can take away a little bit of speed and take the end of the world MP refresh because. Increasing your critical hit rate and reducing your sync move, uh, even though you're decreasing your defenses, uh, it does help out with dealing damage because he is a striker. So you could do this. Um, you can just play with it, you guys. These sync grids that I build out for you guys are just meant to be templates uh, for you guys to look at, go, okay, let me try this, let me try this, and then build it out specifically to your needs, which I have done several times. Uh, so at two out of five, uh, it becomes really useful with Oblivion Wing because we have both of the Oblivion Wing move gauge refreshes. We have all of the Oblivion Wing uh, power ups. We can get all three. We can get all the uh, special attack power ups as well. And that's a fully powered Oblivion Wing. That's really good. <laughs> this is a really strong, uh, strong uh, uh, grid. Now, if you wanted to, we could take away the uh, more the plus twenty to HP. And we could build out, like, some speed. Oh, we could still get... No. Oh, let's see here. It'd be nice to get that right there, but we would need five. So that would have to take away, like, a special defense or an oblivion wing, maybe. And eh, no, I like this. I like this build. I like this build. Yeah, for two out of five, I would do that one for oblivion wing build out. Uh, for this one, we have... This is 2 out of 5 again. This is Dark Pulse build out. So we did do uh, End of the World MP Refresh uh, to get to that Dark Pulse plus 3. And we got all three of these special attacks. We grabbed some special defense. And Dark Pulse Move Gauge Refresh 2. Dark Pulse Move Gauge Refresh 2. So you have a, a Move Gauge Refresh of 4 because those stack. Uh, so that's pretty good for, you know, being a Dark Type Striker at 2 out of 5. Very strong 2 out of 5 Dark Type Striker. Would definitely be the... Maybe not the preferred. Because you do have Houndoom and Mega Houndoom with Karen, But still really useful if Karen and Houndoom go down for you. 
All right, so a three out of five. Uh, this is an Oblivion Wing build out. Uh, we do have Healthy Buffer five, which reduces damage when the user is hit by an attack move when its HP is full. Really helpful with Oblivion Wing because you're regaining a lot of health. Um, so you're getting back to your full health bar pretty quickly. So it reduces the damage by half pretty much. So that's pretty good. Uh, and really does save your save your butt in a lot of situations. Uh, HP advantage too. The more the HP uh, the user has remaining, the more powers up moves. Of course, that helps with Oblivion Wing. Uh, you could also go the uh, Sharp Entry uh, one route where you raise your critical hit rate when the Pokemon enters battle. Uh, but I think the HP advantage too just helps out more in general uh, because you do have supports like uh, Meganium and um, uh, Sabrina, who's another good support for uh, Evidal, because it uh, will increase critical hit rate, will increase your special attack and heal, and you'll uh, have Reflect, which reduces physical damage. So, yeah, pretty good build-out. Uh, that eight, that healthy, uh, healthy Buffer 5 really is like a... A must-have if you're doing a 3 out of 5 build for uh, Oblivion Wing with Evidal. Now for the Dark Pulse build out, we have Dark Pulse Aggravation 1 and another one. So you have essentially Dark Pulse Aggravation 2 uh, to where you can really try to make your opponent flinch a lot. We have Harry 2 which powers up moves when the target is flinching along with our uh, two move gauge refresh 2s and Unflappable. And we, again, we grabbed all the special attack plus five, so we're powering up Dark Pulse as much as we can with the amount of energy that we have. Uh, pretty strong, pretty strong. Uh, but again, we haven't really incorporated the Sync Grid, uh, the Sync uh, move power-ups yet. So we'll go ahead and do that with our Sync Bomb build, our Sync Nuke build. Oops, here we go, there we go. All right, so our Sync Nuke build. Uh, this is an Oblivion Wing plus Sync Nuke. Again, we have Healthy Buffer 5 because I believe that is essential for a 3 out of 5 build out for, uh, especially an Oblivion Wing build out for um, Evidal. But getting those extra sync move uh, boosters as well really does help out. Especially if you're like me and you did a 6 star EX for uh, Lysandry. Making him extremely powerful when it comes to... Uh, sync nuking and uh, being a very strong flying type attacker and even a dark type striker. It was very good. Very good. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What sync rid did you use for Evil? And uh, yeah, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters EX content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.